there, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you have been doing wonderfully. My name is Fabi, for those of you who are new, and in today's video, I'm bringing you an eye tutorial. I am going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette because this has been on sale on and off, on and off, and of course, I'm one of those people that bought it when the sale was on. So let me share this look with you. It's something that I've been consistently wearing. So without any delays, let's get this video started. For today's look, we are going to be working on something warm. And I am going to start by applying this color right here. Its name is Riff on this blending brush. And of course, I am going to apply it all around my crease. This palette, as of lately, has been on sale. So I wanted to create another eye look with it, of course, because I picked it up when it was on sale and I can only imagine that a lot of you are picking it up due to that as well. So as of lately, I've been a little busy and I'm pretty sure that all of you have noticed for I haven't been uploading every week. I've been uploading only once every two weeks. But hang in there. Do remember that I do have a full-time job, a husband, kids, and I try to balance my time as much as I can. Of course, today my husband saw me going a little crazy and he was like, hey, relax, stop, go film, go film. <laughs> so right now I am taking the time to film an eye tutorial. Now I am going to take an e.l.f. brush and I am going to apply the color Vaja, this pretty orange color on my brush and I'm going to apply the color a little bit closer to my crease. And this eye look just has about two, maybe, maybe four steps, three, <laughs> It's something very simple. You just have to place the colors, blend them a little, and ta-da, you'll have a very nice, warm eye look. Now, with my finger, I am going to take the color Double Life, and I adore this color. It's a very pretty brown, but it looks a little darker on some angles and a little bit lighter on others. This color truly, truly rocks. I've been adoring it, and I've been wearing it a ton, especially to work when I want something quick and easy, but a look that covers my entire lid, of course. I'll gravitate towards this color a lot. Again, I like the fact that it kind of shifts. It looks darker on some areas and then a little bit lighter on others. Sometimes you'll think, whoa, it's dark brown, and then I'll move a little and you'll be like, it's not so dark. It's a very nice, pretty color. elf brush I am going to take this color right here called punk and I'm simply going to apply it on this portion right here it's going to be on my crease but just on the outer part I am not going to bring it all the way in just so that it can make the color stand out a little more and so that it can give me more definition here on the outer area just going to slightly apply it very, very lightly. I want the orange to still pop, but again, I do want to give this outer corner a little more definition, a little extra pop. Now, just to make sure that everything's blended, I am going to take my blending brush, no additional product, and I'm simply going to make sure that everything fits and looks synchronized, like a beautiful, beautiful song. Now with my $1 e.l.f. brush, I am going to take the color Riff one more time, and it's a beautiful, warm, and tannish color, and I am going to apply it close to my lower lash line. I try not to speak when it comes to this step because 
You know, sometimes I end up poking my eye here. Just like I kind of did right now. It doesn't fail on every video, it just doesn't. And if you know me, if you watch my videos, then you know that. With the same brush, I'm going to go into Punk very lightly, and I am going to apply it just on the outer half of that lower lash line, just very lightly. Again, I just want to give it a little extra pop there. Just something a little darker right there where the line starts. And this right here is the eye look just by using this palette. It has a little orange, a little brown, and again, it's very pretty and appealing. It's something that you can create Fast. It's a three-step process, possibly four, because I am going to add a inner corner highlight, but of course I usually like to match that with my cheekbone highlight, so that's where I'm going to go now. I'm going to apply a thin line of eyeliner, and I'm going to put mascara on, and I'll be back in a flash, my friends. And here I have the completed look. I did apply a thin line of eyeliner and I did use the Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. For mascara, I did apply the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. We've come to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful or at least a little bit interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Please do hit that bell button for notifications. Leave your comments and requests down below. Share this video with your loved ones and I'll see you around next time. Have a very lovely day or a very beautiful night. Goodbye.